So, uh, do you own one of these uh, quest ones? Do you own one? I own one. And uh, yesterday there was an update for me on my end, an update for uh, version 29, which I kind of thought that maybe we're going to see an Erlink with quest one, but there wasn't. Uh, I know that a lot of friends of mine really want to use Airlink with the Quest 1. They don't own Quest 2 and they want to use it with the Quest 1. And they asked me if there was a possibility because I checked the 29 version of the software and there was no indication for Airlink. So I kind of wanted to make this tutorial for those of you who are still waiting, hoping that it might happen. It could happen. Oculus can come up and say, you know what, let's not put it uh, as a secret or let's not put it as something that is not doable. Let's send it to everyone. So I'll make a tutorial for you how to set it, how to make it work. Now, you need to know how to side load or you need to know exactly what side loading is. Uh, I will show you the two options that you can do it with and a little bit of how you can do it. So bear with me. It could be done and uh, let's go in and check it out. So first thing first, you probably had the link cable or even the, the cable that you got with the Quest 1 that you can connect to the PC. You need to have a PC for that. So let's put the Quest down and let's see what you need to do first. First, make your account a developer. You need to open it up to be a developer. So how do you do that? Well, let me minimize this. What you need to do is to go into this link. I'm going to put the link in the description down below, but you're going to go into this link right here and you're going to press on manage. Once you're in manage, it's going to open up a window for you to say to log you in. Now you will, will, you will need to log in as your Facebook account because you know, Oculus, Facebook, same same i'm right not right now i'm connected but you're gonna have to open up some sort of a, a company or or to create an organization not a company an organization so all you have to do is just hold on there's an alarm there's a car outside so all you have to so all you have to do is Put up a name for your company or organization. It really doesn't matter what you punch in. I don't have a name. I can't think of a name. Resident Evil. Because it's so hot right now. Resident Evil 8. Yes, it's available. Once you do it, you hit submit. It will create your organization. As you can see, I have a few down here. Um, and that's all you need to do. You need to set it up, set an organization. Once you do that, you hit submit, you're done. Next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into your phone. And in your phone, you're going to have to go into the app of the Oculus app. In the Oculus app, you're going to have to go into your Quest 1, hit on it. And in there, you're going to see developer. You're going to click on the developer and you need to switch the developer to on. That will make your, your Oculus in developer mode. Restart your quest and once you launch it again, it will you will be in a developer mode. Next, what you need to do once this is all done, you have two options. One option is to use uh, a software called um, SideQuest, which will allow you to load apps into the quest or download games into the quest another thing that you can use and i'll put the in the description i'll put a link to where you can download the software from you're gonna launch this software right here it's part of oculus all you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to my device in there you're gonna have to go to apps and in apps you do upload an apk now an apk is an application package that in the description again you're going to have a link to a, a, a file that will basically enable you to use airlink with your quest one so you're going to have to download it to your computer and then once you launch this or side quest you need to connect your side quest your quest to the computer 
So this software will recognize that your quest is connected and then you're going to have to hit on upload. And once this is up, you're going to have to direct it to this file that you can download down in the description. It's called PL Marconic Airlink Connect APK. You double click on that and it will load that software into your quest because it's connected right now to the PC. So one thing before you do anything, don't forget that once you connect your quest to the computer, you need to make sure that it's on and then allow communication via USB. Don't switch the air link on, uh, sorry, don't switch the link on, just allow connections and allow as if you trust the PC that is connected to your quest. If you don't want to use this, you want to use SideQuest, by all means, use the SideQuest. It's going to be the same thing. Let's launch SideQuest. Once it's launched, it should say, hey, Oculus Quest is connected. And here you can press on this one, install APK file from folder on computer. So you press on this. And once it asks you, hey, which file do you want me to, to load? Go to downloads and then go to Airlink Quest 1 and it's this one. Airlink Connector APK. You use, you can choose either this software or the one that I just showed you, the Oculus Developer Hub. Either one would work. Now, the Developer Hub, it's a software, it's an EXE file that you need to install on your PC. It's all safe, no viruses, no scams, no nothing like that, no malware. It's all safe and clean. Don't worry about it. Before we go into the quest, I have one more thing to say. Make sure that your o Oculus app is updated and it's my version 28 or above. I'm not sure if yours has been updated. Um, let's see, go down. Right now, mine is 29. You can see here, mine is 29. So that's good. Go to beta. Once you open it, it's probably going to be home. Go to settings, go to beta, and then here you're going to have air link and you see that it's turned off. Now, the thing with the air link, I think it's still in beta. So what happens? Well, it is under beta, but, but what happens is this, you turn it on and it's going to be on for 24 hours. If let's say tomorrow, this time you want to use it again, you're going to go in and you'll see that it's turned off again. So you need to turn it back on. So what I'm going to do now, now I'm going to turn it on and now we can go into the quest. So let's go in. So now that we're in the quest right now, let's see if I can center this. I don't know why I'm off my couches, but anyways, you can see that I'm not connected. What you need to do is to go into settings and then you'll see that I am in version 29 and there's no updates. All you have to do is go to apps after you've installed that APK like I showed you. Go into your apps, go to the unknown sources. And in unknown sources, you'll see Airlink connector. Click on that and it will open up a window and it will show you that this PC is ready to receive or to cast information into your quest. So I'll click on that and it's going to take a second or two to connect and I can see the logo Oculus logo and there you go. I am now connected to my PC via air link. Like I'm not connected to the PC via cable. I'm not connected through virtual desktop. It works just like as if it would work on um, uh, Quest 2. So I'm not sure how well this would work but we could try, let's uh, run Moss from the PC. This is not the Quest version. This is a PC VR version, just to see how it works. That's the first game that I saw that was played last because I kind of played with it uh, last night. I love that game, love the animation, and uh, it's, it's a must have in my opinion. Okay, guys. Uh, we are in Moss right now, one of the best games for VR, sitting game, you don't need to stand, but you know, you can actually do this with no virtual desktop. If you prefer to use Airlink, 
I'm not sure how sta stable it would be as of now. I'm pretty sure that with time, they're probably going to be an update. And I'm sure that Oculus would open it up for Quest 1 users without sideloading. It would be part of the download, part of the, the versions, next version, maybe version 30. I was expecting version 29 to be, but you know what? Take it as it comes. And uh, look at this. If I use my hand, it affects the environment. I love it. So there you go. It works. Uh, tell me if you have any questions. It's totally playable. Right now it's the, the whole beginning, the whole animation in the beginning. But uh, it's uh, it exactly looks very, sure very promising. The visuals are very but clear. It's no very, very well um, received in the headset. There could be a little bit of jagginess, a little bit of inconsistency right Clearly, now because I'm casting to the PC and using cold. OBS and all that uh, thing, all that stuff. Then, you know, like uh, just bear with me as I let Quill run to the next level. Guys, if you have any concerns, any questions, anything you want to ask or know, don't hesitate. Write down in the description below any questions you have. Uh, connect to me on Twitter if you have anything that you want to add. If I missed out on something, I'm open to for suggestions. And also, please subscribe if you find that this video is uh, contributing to your knowledge and necessary information. And I'll talk to you in the next video, guys. Much love, people. Yeah, I know I need to use both hands, but I can't have them right now because the microphone is... Doing.